Welcome movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Welcome to another versus video. I haven't done one since Wonder Woman. It's been a, quite some time. But today I will be talking about both West Side Story films, the 1961 version and the 2021 version. Go over key elements of the movie and at the end of the video, share with which one I prefer of the two. So when it comes to West Side Story, I wanna talk about three different things for each movie. At the end of those three points, I'll share which one I prefer for the story, the cast and the characters, and the direction. So first off, I wanna talk about the story for each one. In the 1961 version, which ran about, I think like two hours and 36 minutes, we had the story of Tony who meets Maria at a high school dance, they fall in love, and then we have the Jets and the Sharks, rival gangs who, who are vying for control of the street. Maria wants Tony to stop this fight that's going to happen. Tony is madly in love with Maria and they come from different backgrounds. Tony belongs to the Jets. Maria's brother belongs to the Sharks. And so it has that Romeo and Juliet story. They're not supposed to be together, but they are madly in love. The story is really good. It does feel a little bit brief, with some of the, the moments between uh, the Jets and the Sharks, Maria and Tony, although it is two hours and 36 minutes. I, th I was thinking to myself, the moments of you know Maria and Tony meeting or um, the Sharks and the Jets setting up this council and talking about uh, what weapons they're gonna use, it does feel very, very brief at times. The main difference between this one and the new one is Doc and Valentina. Uh, Valentina is played by Rita Moreno, who did play Anita in the original film. So they changed the character for Rita Moreno, and I really liked her performance in the, the new movie. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But the story for the, uh, the original film uh, felt more lighthearted uh, when it came to Maria and Tony and especially in regards to the Sharks and uh, the the Jets. I don't wanna to get too much into the direction of the movie, but the way that it was handled, the story, it felt a little more lighthearted compared to the new film. The new film had a lot more depth given to the Sharks and the Jets and that conflict, and you really did feel the love between Maria and Tony within that movie. By really extending certain sequences, you're really able to understand that conflict and watch that relationship grow even though it takes place over like a couple days uh, i do like the story and the new film i do think that valentina was a great addition to the movie and i like doc in the original film as well but it does feel grittier it does feel more believable and with those extended scenes you're really able to go into more of the story of the couple and the sharks and the jets and really able to bring them out and really fill that conflict and fill that love and really understand what the sharks and everybody else in their community was going through in 1957 New York City. So when it comes to the story between the two, 1961 and 2021, there's really not much of a difference in terms of what it focuses on. Really the only major difference is Valentina versus Doc but I do prefer the new story. More of the depth for Tony, Maria, the Jets, the Sharks, you're really able to understand that conflict and that love. So I do prefer the story, even though it's fairly similar, it just brings more to the table. Now I wanna talk about the cast. The cast is great for both. And uh, there is different performances for each one. With the 1961 film, we had Natalie Wood who played Maria and Richard Beimer who played Tony. Natalie Wood and Richard Beimer gave more of a lovely performance. I found uh, Richard Beimer to be more upbeat than Ansel Elger, who played Tony in the new film. But I did find that Rachel Zegler gave more of a dramatic performance in the new film. Maria and Tony in the original film felt more in love. The film was very vibrant. It was colorful and we were able to bring out that love story very well to the film. And those performances are really good. Rita Moreno as Anita, really good in the film. Doc uh, had a kind of a simple story, but was able to challenge the Jets uh, to be better. And I really liked that character within here. But everybody else from George Chalkins to Russ Tamblin to Tucker Smith, everybody gave a fairly good performance. 
But with uh, certain scenes feeling very brief, uh, some of the performances just felt a little bit flat. Um, but there is um, a little bit of lack of emotion coming from certain sequences. But I do feel that love between Richard Bymere and Natalie Wood in the film. It felt, it felt like a musical about love, and I really like that. But in the new film, the whole supporting cast was really good. Uh, but Rachel Zegler was amazing in this film. Those dramatic scenes uh, coming towards the end of the film, and uh, she, when she learned, uh, and when she learned what Tony did, she's really able to bring out that dramatic side of Maria, and that is one of the best parts of this film. Uh, when I think of any performance in any of the West Side Story films, Rachel Zegler gives the best performance of them all. And Rita Moreno as Valentina gives a really good performance as well. She is very brief, much like Doc, but she utilizes her time very, very nicely. And Ansel Elgert uh, feels a very calm and laid back within this movie. It's not very dram doesn't have many dramatic scenes in the movie, but I think he has really great chemistry with Rachel Zegler. Ariana DeBose as Anita gives a really good performance. She challenges Maria to really think about her relationship with Tony. Uh, she's very fierce within the movie as well. And that song, Only in America, she makes it amazing uh, with also that direction, which we'll talk about in a minute. But when it comes to the cast of both films, I do like uh, some of the, the more tender moments in the 1961 version and the performance of that cast. But in the new film, it feels very more dramatic and it does feel sweet at times. But Rachel Zegler with that really good performance, I have to go with the cast of the new film and the performances as well. And they utilize some of the supporting cast very well within the film. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was the direction. We have Steven Spielberg directing the new film. The original film was directed by Jerome Robbins and Robert Wise. So we had two people directing this film. Uh, the original directing, I was able to make it feel more like a lighthearted musical. You had uh, bright colored sequences, um, smaller set design. The characters are able to use that smaller set to their advantage. It feels more like a musical, with certain scenes feeling very brief in the dancing. I really did admire how the 1961 film was handled. But with Steven Spielberg's newest film, we have a lot, it feels more like a cinematic movie rather than a musical. He's really able to take certain scenes from the 1961 version and extend it, make it feel bigger, more cinematic. Uh, especially in regards to the probably the best scene in the movie is when Tony goes to um, Maria's balcony and they're singing to each other. It just feels really big and beautiful to look at. And that's what uh, this film does feel like with the direction of Steven Spielberg is that it feels beautiful. It's taking everything from the 1961 version and polishing it. Bringing out the colors, making it feel grittier at times, making the dance sequences pop and feel very choreographed, use, utilizing the setting to their advantage. There's a lot of great things that Steven Spielberg did, and I feel like he is the right choice to direct this film. He's a very good director, but he's taking an already established movie, making it feel bigger and brighter, and the direction is top notch in this movie. So when it comes to the directing, both are very good. Uh, it feels very different in its tone and how the moments are handled. Like, the, like I said, the original feels uh, more of a musical and it's bright, it's colorful. Uh, it feels, there's a lot of dancing and singing in that movie to make it feel that way with um, some of the uh, more smaller sets like the high school. But then in the new film, everything just feels bigger. Uh, it's bringing out that color very nicely. Uh, it feels dirtier and grittier at times, utilizing a lot more of its surrounding areas to make it feel bigger. But I do prefer Steven Spielberg's directing. And so when it comes down to the story, uh, the cast, the performances, and the direction, the new film just hits it all. It improves on everything that the original film did. And I know there will be a lot of people that do prefer the original film. I just don't have that strong connection. I watched both of them in the same day for the first time. Uh, and so I was really able to pinpoint certain things uh, with the cast and the story and the direction, the tone, the colors, the setting, everything. I was really able to just figure out what I do prefer. And when it comes down to it all, it's the new film. 
Um, but the music is great in both. It is a really interesting story, very simple, very sweet. But when it comes down to it, I would watch the new film over the original film any day. Let me know what you thought about both films in the comment section down below. What film do you prefer? I wanna hear some of your arguments on the story for the 1961 or the cast and the performances and the direction from the new film. I'm open to hearing your guys' thoughts about each film in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of both films and which one do you prefer. And if you'd like to see more of these versus videos for remakes, reboots, sequels, whatever it is in 2022, let me know. I would like to do some more of this. I've had I've done a couple ones. I've done a couple ones in the past before for like the Disney remakes and I've always had fun doing them. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the future and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.